Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Live Smith and I am going to be talking about the FBO2, the second set of Dragon Ball Fusion World. This is a game that I've actually kind of enjoyed quite a bit. Today we're going to be talking about the apps, the, the next set tier list, the predictions that we see in the future and how everything will affect how people play. So if you do like this video and want to see more, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. So let's go ahead and jump in to what we've got going on here. I'm personally going to start off with Frieza. I am just going to, right off the bat, we're going to start off with Frieza right there at S tier. I think Frieza already is S tier. And with all the yellow cards that are coming in to the second set, I think Frieza is going to literally run the meta. Um, and you're going to be looking for things that do that kind of slow Frieza down. Because right now, yellow is very fast. Yellow is not really all that difficult as long as you've got the cards. Um, but the game itself is going to be quicker. So you're going to be looking at, well, how quickly can we get all these cards out? Well, yellow does it pretty freaking quick. Like right now we've got Ginyu and everything like that. But now what we're starting to see are cards that are going to be coming out where... Uh, not only do they, not only do they, uh, stay, like, not only do they come out quickly, but they can also stay, you know, and they can stick to the board, and they can be hard to remove. So now you're giving a lot of power to quick, uninterruptible gameplay, which Yellow is doing very well, um, so I think Frieza is going to be S tier. However, we're gonna move on to Broly, which is going to probably change. Um, with a lot of the cards that are coming in, I don't think it's going to be nearly as good. I'll probably bring it down to A. Um, possibly B, depending. I think that it's going to be too slow. Uh, as for the likes of Gohan and such, I think it's still gonna, you know what, actually, truthfully, I am gonna put it at B. Now, I only put it at B, not because of how strong the cards are, but because of the way the meta is changing, right? So... With a lot of these things, you have um, to take into consideration how everybody else is going to be playing the game. Um, Broly is not going to be quick at all. Like, you're, you're not getting a lot of support, uh, in my opinion, that will allow him to do what he does best. Um, I think Gohan is faster. I think, uh, you know, I think androids are getting a lot of support, and we'll get to that in a minute. But I don't think Broly is doing enough to keep up with the new meta that's going to be coming into place. So I'm going to put him at B tier. Uh, let me know what you think of that down in the comments below. Uh, do you think he's still going to be broken? Do you do you think that somebody's going to have to work really hard to make him work? Is he is the new meta or the new set going to knock him off the board completely? Let me know down in the comments. Vegeta. He's getting a lot of support. He's getting a lot of support. And Blue is one of those confusing... Or not confusing, one of those, like, you have to really focus on your combos, you have to really focus on what you're doing, one wrong move could lose you the game, so it's a big brain playstyle, which I have not mastered literally whatsoever, I'm actually a pretty bad blue player because I have no patience, but when it comes to Vegeta, he's getting a lot of support, blue is getting really sticky, blue is going to be a... I feel like Blue is going to be a little bit of a force to be reckoned with, um, but I don't think he's quite fast enough. I think I'm going to put him at C tier. Um, I think I think Blue is getting to a point where... Uh, but Blue is, going, Blue is going into a realm which is fast, and it's also... I don't know, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty sticky, pretty, pretty on the board, pretty on par with a lot of things that Blue wants to do, and they're getting a lot of support for it. So I think Vegeta's up there uh, in like standardized, like, oh, I just want to mess around and have a good time. But as for like ranked metas and everything like that, I just don't. I it, you you are really gonna have to try to push to beat those Frieza's and some of the other decks that we see coming soon. Moving on to our first red deck, we have Son Goku. Now, Son Goku is, this is the starter deck one, just like Vegeta, right? So, we're looking at a lot of, 
a lot of versatility. Like he is very good at just flip flopping right on like both attack and defense, right? So very good stuff. Very good stuff out of him. Um, I think he's still going to be in kind of like a B tier area. I don't think he's going to be too crazy. I know he's getting a lot of tournament of power stuff, and you can work with some things that do that. I just feel like there are better decks that do it better, right? And with all the negging that comes into red this set, I feel like there are going to be better decks that do it faster, and they're going to be more consistent. Um, I feel like Sun Goku is just kind of like the run-of-the-mill deck that everybody buys at first, and he's going to stay that way until we get some kind of support to make him stronger, right? So B tier, Sun Goku is going to be my placement. Um, moving on to the other Vegeta, the yellow Vegeta, the, the unrest to energy right at the end of your turn. I'm going to be honest, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I think that, I think that the energy is fine. But when it comes to what Yellow wants to do with uh, undoing, like, unresting your character, your battle cards, and stuff like that, I think this just doesn't do what Yellow is built to do right now. Like, if, if they had done, like, a Yellow-Green Vegeta or something like that, and they had made it to where you can, un like, do unchecked power, and n not even at the end of the turn, like, if they had just done it, like, in the middle of the turn, you could undo two rested energy that would change everything right like that would change everything that has to do with vegeta but you know like i don't know what their problem is here like with this card but maybe it's their balancing for yellow like they don't want to put too many good yellow leaders into the thing but since it says end of turn um i'm not really the biggest fan and I don't think he's going to be the biggest fan of some people's play styles either. It's going to be reliant on a lot of counter ability, um, where on your turn during battles you play supernovas or stuff like that. But as a as of right, I don't even know if I, I don't think you can play supernovas. It's it's not going to be viable. I think it's going to be too reliant on counterplay and too reliant on making your opponent not just snowballing into you. And I don't think this meta is going to allow a lot of freedom for Vegeta. So I'm going to put him in F tier. I'm not the biggest fan of this leader. And, you know, if you have a different opinion, let me know. But, yeah, I just don't see him being very good. Uh, next is Cell. I'm going to just move him right up here into A tier. He's going to be our first A tier. Um, truth be told... He's getting a lot of support, and there was already like a Hercule and some other cards in green that had Earthling in them, but take Earthling out of it, right? Like, don't, don't focus on the Earthling, because his card is in absolutely insane. He is what Broly and Gohan wish they could be, where if you have five energy, just take a card from your drop and put it in your energy. What? Like, how, how is that not broken? That's going to be quicker green. So, like, by turn three, when you have, by turn three, when you have, like, four or five energy, or it's going to probably be five energy, by turn three, when you hit five energy or so, right, you're going to be sitting there going, wow, this is, this, I can just take this that I put in the drop earlier to get me that energy. Like, you can just take it from your drop and put it into your energy, which allows you to then recycle those cards, and if you know anything about Android cards then you obviously know that you throw a lot of things into your drop. And so he has a lot of support for just throwing stuff out. There's the new green Bulma, which is an earthling. And she's going to be a throwaway, like a draw one card, discard one card every turn, as long as it stays on the board. And that's just going to be fuel for the fire. I don't think he's S tier because he's probably still not going to do it fast enough. But like... He is going to be a force to be reckoned with in the late game as long as they have a way to slow him down or to slow people down, which they kind of do with uh, a lot of the cell cards making it to where he adds a life to his self. I think that this is going to be a very busted card. 
And I would put him in S tier, but I just don't know if he's going to be quick enough to compare to the meta, so that's why he's going to be in A tier for me. Uh, Zamasu Fused, I'm going to be honest, I hate this card. Um, not because I think it's totally bad, but it's going to be our first D tier for sure. I think that I think there's not enough support for what it does, right? There's a lot of Zamasu Fuse that like to stick to board. There's a lot of Zamasu Fuse who like to play around the idea that you're immortal. And that's great. It's just not where it needs to be yet. So I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. I don't think it's completely bad. I think it's okay. And so I just don't see it the way that other people will. Um, I don't think it's going to be necessarily a favorite, but I do think it'll have some kind of playability in the off meta scene. And, you know, I'll even give it a try once in a while, but I don't think it's going to be anything crazy. Uh, Sun Goku for the Tournament of Power. Okay, I really like this card. Um... So it's going to go into A, and I'll explain why it's not S. Red has a lot of negative abilities, like I said. So you're, let's say you're at six, you pay three, then you pay one, then you pay one, and you kill like three things. That's, by negative abilities alone, that's pretty solid. Um, and like, I know there's a lot of cards already that have like Universe 7, two, Tournament of Power, Universe 6, Tournament of Power. Um in their actual traits, and you can carry that over. A lot of red support this way around. I don't know that it's going to be S tier, just because there's a deck that I feel like does it just a little bit better because of what it flips. Um, but yeah, still a great card, still a big contender, and definitely not something to slouch about. Cooler is a objectively worse Frieza, and I don't think he's going to be too crazy. He might even be D tier for me. No, I think, I think he'll stay in C tier. I think he'll get play. I think he's cool in that sense, right? Like you can undo, I think it costs like one and a discard, right? But like, or no, it's like three and a discard or something like that. Uh, I feel like his ability is not good enough for what it does. Uh, however, with the support that's coming in, you don't really need to do all that. And plus, his ability probably won't hit as much as you'd like it to for what it does. Um, because we're getting a lot of Vegeta cards, Bulmas, right? Like, there's a lot of yellow support for this new Vegeta. Or this Frieza, right? This Frieza meta that we're about to go into. I firmly believe that Cooler is cool. Obviously. Duh. But like, he doesn't do it. He doesn't do it fast enough. He doesn't do it cheap enough. He's just kind of there. So, a solid C pick. Um, we'll see where he gets placed or how he does things. You know, play testing and stuff like that. Going into the lab. Finding new ways to make things better. We'll see how that goes. Ginyu? Ginyu is, is, yeah, I mean, it's Ginyu, bro. I, I really don't think Ginyu does it. Um, with Zeno and a lot of other things that are, like, coming into play and getting rid of a lot of Ginyu cards, um, I don't think Ginyu is going to be any better. I, I truly think that Ginyu is... Kind of a, a cool idea with a waste of space, right? Like, it's it's like they looked at Ginyu and they said, you know, he's going to be such a cool combo piece. And then they made him too much of a restricted combo. So they in inherently made him one of, one of the least fun decks to play because there's so much that's coming into the game that can just not... That can just deal with it. That you can, you can just get rid of it. Zeno, um, a lot of the cards that don't stick around too much, or like that stick around too much. Um, there's a ton of red that does like field wipes, like the Gohan, the Gohan that gives everything minus a thousand. And then there's also like the seven drop Gohan, um, 
discard one card, blow everything up. Uh, there's now yellow cards that make it to where things can't be removed by ability. Like, there's, there's too much that can just deal with Ginyu and his ability, and the, the support is not there for him. He may be fun in the future, but not right now. Uh, Gohan, I'm going to put an A tier. I think Gohan is going to be better. I think Gohan is going to be really good. You know, now that I think about it, let me just let me just do that. No, we're we're gonna keep him in A tier. I just don't know if he's gonna be fast enough. Um, we'll put we'll put Gohan in A tier because I think he's better than Broly, um, but I don't think he's S tier. Um, I think he's gonna get slower, um, but because of the fact that he likes to play off of Son Goku and get that ramp started and, you know, there's going to be more support coming in for that kind of like throwing cards away to get more energy kind of vibe coming out of green, then I'm, I think he's going to, I think he's going to have a spot. I think he's going to have a spot in the top, um, but just like he does now, but he, he, it's, it's all right. Trunks. Trunks is a hard one. Mostly, mostly because I don't like how he bounces things. There's so many things that on play effects have, you know, there's a lot of on play, do this on play, do that. And like, if you can figure out a way to play your stuff again, it works. But like my deals with bouncing things back to your opponent's hand. Right. So like, that's a flaw. That's a downside, right? Cause if you do the wrong thing, then you basically give your opponent more of an upstart and it requires too much of a restricted play style, um, especially for what it does. So I'm going to give it F tier. I really don't like Trunks, not because of the character, even though I do find the character annoying at some times. But like, yeah, I just really do not like his play style considering how the meta is and like how many on play effects really come into play and just... You could bounce it back to hand, sure, but it's going to come back and cause you more problems. And although it does give your your opponent the ability to go, oh, well, if I want to do that again, I have to play it again, and then I have to make different choices. And If you're giving your opponent options instead of taking away options, I think you're losing the game. Like, it, it, it really does require a lot of effort to win. Um... Beerus. Beerus is S tier. Beerus is going to be S tier. I feel like Beerus is really doing a lot here. Um, so many neg abilities, so many kill spells, so many... Get it off the board, don't let it go, right? That is what Beerus does best, and if you're able to just kind of combo into like a... You know, play big things and have them neg and have them KO and have them neg and KO and neg and KO. At a certain point, you're going to get to where your opponent just can't play anything. And that is what you want, right? I feel like his control is going to be the better half of red. Um, I know Sun Goku, the starter deck, is considered the better part because it gives you so much versatility. However... You know, giving, giving like, if you have Tournament of Power out and then you have other cards that allow you to up your leader's defenses a little bit so that you can just whittle your opponent down little by little, then you are essentially controlling the game. And I think Beerus does that very well. Um, I think that he is... Going to be S tier, I think there's a lot of red cards that are going to work with him and make him just that much stronger. So if you if you don't think he belongs in S tier, I'm I that's a fair assessment, right? Like you could possibly think that some one of these other cards is better in S tier. And that's on that's that's a good that's a good idea. But I think that Beerus is going to be a pretty solid pick when it comes to playing. Uh, Sun Goku Super Saiyan Blue, we're going to put him in a little bit of a C tier as well. I think he's really good aggro. He's really good aggro. He does KO a lot, and he makes things bigger, and if you play off of making things bigger, you're good. But 
you know, there's a lot of things that aren't are coming in that are not going to hit on Universe 7. Um, I think that he's going to get significantly weaker just because he can't hit that every single time. You know what I mean? So I think this is going to be one of those things where, like, he is cool to play, he's fun to play, and he's a little, he's a little nostalgic, right? But, like, I just don't think it's going to be enough. Android 17 is a hard one. Um, I want to put him in, I want to put him in A tier. Uh, I do. And I think I might, but there's also the fact that, like, Cell is here. I think I will put him in A tier. He's getting a lot of support, surprisingly. And he's still pretty strong. If you hit six, you go into it, you turn into a 30k on your turn. That's really strong, but also, like, you have more Android power coming in. So he gets more support, he gets stronger, he turns into a monster, right? The problem is, is he doesn't do what Cell does. So I want to put him in B tier, but I still think that people are underestimating Android 17. And with the right cards, you can indeed just go off. Like you can just go crazy um, with heavy hitters and possibly blowing up boards if you have like the seven drop Gohan mixed with like a six drop Android 17, 18, or with this new set, we're getting an eight drop Cell and Cell Junior. Uh, you can play off of those as well so that you can gain life and play a big a big monster that allows you to just kind of snowball off of this lead on energy, right? And that's kind of what you want in green. As far as that goes, I think that Android 17 is an A-tier type of leader. Goku Black is in the middle. He's in the middle, okay? If anything, I'll drop Cooler down one, right? I'll drop Cooler down one just because I don't think there's going to be... I, I don't think he does a whole lot. Um, I don't, I don't want to put him in A tier because it, he is still very reliant on the Goku Blacks and getting everything out on the board, but if you've ever seen somebody go off with Goku Black, it is scary, right? And he's getting a lot of support. Um, Zamasu, uh, Zamasu Fuse, Goku Black, all of those cards, Time Ring, Zeno, all those cards, all those cards just kind of take what he has and do what he does and makes it better, right? Because he can now control your opponents better. That is crazy. That is awesome. There's a, a sticky Zamasu that just doesn't leave the battlefield as long as you have a Goku Black, right? And you need that Zamasu to make your Goku Blacks cheaper, right? And that inherently makes him stronger. I still don't think he's an A tier, and I don't think he's an S tier. But I for sure think that he is one of, one of the top tiers. I don't think he's a C, D, or F. I think he's a B, and, you know, time will only tell how this goes. But... That right there is how I think the meta is going to turn out. I think it's going to be run by these two and possibly sell, possibly sell. And I think Goku Black is going to turn into uh, one of the best blue decks. Um, but there is, there is still time to tell. I don't know how close this prediction is. And maybe we'll come back to it. Maybe we'll come back to it once the FBO2 cards come out and just kind of see how close we were. Um, but... With that, I've been Livesmith. I hope you enjoyed. And let me know how close you think this is to how the meta is actually going to play out. Or if you think that I'm totally wrong and, you have, and you're have and you going to flame me anyway. Do it in the comments below. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.